Do you remember these Twitch streamers? These Twitch streamers, do you recall? It's been a while. Back from Seattle once again. Yes. Welcome to the stream. Welcome. Ooh, ooh. That's no. not how Jinx talks. No. But that's how I talk. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the stream. Excited to be back. I have missed the stream while we were gone. Secret Sleepover is one of my faves. Yeah. There were so many people wearing Secret Sleepover Society shirts and stuff. Yeah, the there were. A lot of Secret Sleepover fans at the Seattle live shows. And specifically, to shout out one of them, since everyone's already talking about the jewelry, this necklace made by a fan to be a, uh, a York themed necklace. You can see there's like teeth on it Excuse and bones. Me. Excuse me. York themed necklace. Thank you. Thank you, Julia. Mm -hmm. Um, let's turn the camera a bit. Always. Uh, but I want to shout them out so everyone can can check them out because they run a little business. Yes. Um, they didn't ask us to plug their stuff, by the way. We just no, are. But I did tell them that I was going to wear this on a stream. And so I actually, this is Julia's shirt. <laughs> I borrowed Julia's shirt and Julia's earrings because I was like, they're going to go really well with the necklace. So, it fits them really well. So I had to, I had to put the put this Dow Dow fit together on, on the spot. <laughs> well said. But I think it does go well together. I think I was right to think this. Mm -hmm. um, anyways, the, the person's name is uh, Harry Stone and you can find their work. I should have told the mods I was going to do this so they could have the link ready. But their website is, I'll show you, Harrison, ha hold on, hold on, Harrison and Stars on Depop, trans mask artist, custom jewelry, and commissions welcome. Go support, go, go support. Go support if you're looking for uh, If you're looking for some dope for necklaces. Some jewelry. Yeah, I was really excited to get it. They, they totally nailed something I would like, so loved it. Yeah, so yeah it's, it's, it's depop.com slash Harrison underscore and underscore stars. We got so much fan art while we were in Seattle. We did. We are loaded up on fan we're art. We're loaded up on fan art and gifts and things. Really appreciate it, everyone. Um, I have a few examples here around me, just things we've put up already. This one. This one's very, laugh. very excellent. Let me hold it up. Yeah. Let me hold it up and do the camera thing. Are very Jason cute. and Julie? which we thought was adorable. Yeah. And then I got some good, good detective stuff. Oh yeah, let's look at that too. Okay, first of all, I've been obsessed with this since it was handed to me. Please look at this Eugene. Look at this Gene. He's got pecs. Let's bring him in, let's bring him in. Focus on him, camera. Focus on him. Look at him, he's so cute. He's adorable. And the details. <laughs> he's got the little the little the little eye, the e, little wings. E, e, e. There he is. Oop. There's Eugene. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad we'll never see him again. Because the season's over. And the second thing. I got Felix. A little Felix. Someone made me a little Felix. Yeah. Look at him, he's so cute. Camera. There we go. Oh. No. There we there go. Look at that. Look at that. Ah! Is he so cute? Real cute ass shit. He's got shit. his little bow tie and his hair. He's adorable. Those are all the ones we have around us right now, but a lot of people made a lot of things that were really good. Yeah. I thought you were gonna say something else. You looked like you were about to say something. Well, someone someone asked who Felix was. He's a he's a draw detective season two. Yes, yes, draw detective's character. Yes. Um, yeah, and then someone else asked where these earrings came from. Th these earrings, do you know? Do you know where the moon and the star came from? Regal Rose. 
The moon and the star in the sky. Those are my earrings. And I swear. Jacob stealing my look and improving my look. I'm Mr. Steal Your Luck. I'm just wearing an Ava shirt today. Anyways, we're gaming. We're here to game. We're gaming. We're here for a game time, not for a lang time. What? You heard me. Hi, Joy. Oh, oh no. Is your sister trying to go into the box we made for her? Oh, no. I keep clicking the wrong thing. Olive drinks like she is a lioness at a, at a pond or lake or something watching out for predators. She's literally watching us while she drinks from the fireplace. Do you see her? <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you can see her. I don't think we'll be able to get her on well, the... No, she's behind everything, including the little couch. Hi, Joy. Olive always puts her back okay. to the wall. Joy's here! Oh, it's Joy! Let's go! A day for cats. You're gonna assume I'm wearing a long skirt with this? I'm not wearing a long skirt. I'm wearing some, some high-waisted black jeans. They're really cute, though. Some mom-fit jeans. I am your mom tonight on the stream. And you better go to your room, and you better clean that shit right up, or else I'm gonna get oh, pissed. another thing that people made for us. And I just wanna shut them up, because I want them to see that it's over here. I don't know what Julie is getting. Where'd it go? Oh, it was on the floor. Did they, were they playing with it and it got kicked somewhere? I don't know. The hell? A fan made us some toys for Joy and Olive, and now they're completely gone. We have no idea where they went. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I got it. They were playing with it. They were playing with it. You're adding me to your gender envy list. I'm happy to be there. I want to embody gender envy for everyone at all times, including myself. It's a little droffy mug cat toy with a with what looks like a big old blunt. <laughs> <laughs> it's a stylus. <laughs> and it's got a little pocket for the stylus. Yeah. It's cute. It's very cute. And I guess they were playing with it. Yeah, it wound up under the bookshelf. What? What? And there they go. Oh, Joy, uh, Olive just sprinted at it and attacked it. Blue-eyed Killjoy said Jacob is just going to become Eugene. That's literally what I said to Julia before I started the stream. He said, uh, this is a step on my mission to become Eugene. I said, yeah, G Eugene is my ultimate uh, gender goals. Yeah. And so this is these are all steps. Everything I do is steps to become Eugene. Our and boy. someday I will. My pronouns are still he, him, though. So are Eugene's. Yeah, just like Eugene. If Eugene changed his pronouns, then maybe I would change mine, but not until then. Anyways, I'm going to read some... You get out of there! That's my fiance! <laughs> I'm going to read some subs. How about that? We yeah. got a whole bunch, so here we go. We got subs from... Song Sprite, Rip Gina, De Bildo, De Bildo, Draws with Paws gave out five subs, All Beans McGee gave out five subs, All Avocado, Just Jake H, Kai Theron, Borkod, Volana, Ruthless Roe, Styrofoam Raccoon, Freya the Gaya, M Goldberg 89, Ooh Gami, A Bimbo Most Wretched, Night Skyler 24, Imunya, Stormy Eyes 123, Jester the Cleric, Logan Chesbro, Tiny Dragon on Fire, The Slow Loris, Ugami again, Chemicult, Caleb 314, Busto. <laughs> Joy's losing her mind to the stylus, oh my god. Apparently Joy's playing with the stylus back there. She's like. How did it end up on the chair? She keeps flicking it into the air and then jumping after it and attacking it with all She's going crazy. Aw oh, Beans McGee, Dr. Vinka PhD, Durable Deer, Barry B. Bombus, Samus Crankpork. Samus Crankpork, Marlo 404, 
Why are you mad though? Skinora 75, Anthony Perkins, Revocador, Lost Without Pockets, Librarian 2, The Appendix, Toasted Toasters, Pineapple Skulls, Irish Piece of Trash, Disaster Buy, Love Sick Like a Dog, Soup Lups, Ooh, got me again. Cookbook for stars. Ivy Faye gave out five gifted subs. Danny Darkly. Kai Kitty 98. Odd Goat Creations. Wagon Full of Pancakes. Princess Desidera. Honey Spider 666. Cepheus. Lyca Pros. Shiblings. Bob, baby Cakey. Baby Cakey. Bumble Beady. Rook the Chessbird gave out two subs. Hyperzeeg. Cyclocentric. Confused Reader. Valeriums. Ivy Faye gave out five subs. Thank you very much, Elpez33, that Ryanbow person, Slayer Raidu, Travis Dabis, Arlana765, Rockin' to Music, Dar Wonder, Dai Ma Onichan, Dear Man Give Fast, Dear Sam I Am, Mo Latch, Wood Shop Grandpa, Mannequin Hands gave out five subs, Miranda Grace, Ratter Tatter, I Am Tumnus, That Casual Dragon, R2D2 Dying Noises, Vulpix, Sunrise, Chili Today, Hot Tamale, Macaulay Cut Singer, the lovely sloth, Cosmic Hobo 96, gave out two subs. Cat Dad 93, Emmy the Max, Seda Jupta. Augie Doggy Doggy Daddy. Yeah. Be- beautiful name, the most beautiful phrase in the English language. Chell Ray, Sunrise gave out five subs. Moxie Spooks, Nerdy Pop Rocks gave out five subs. Olivia uh, Nava, Not a Greek God 819, Raging Agent 36 gave out 10 subs. Thank you so much. Brittany, Shady Xylophones, Black Blue 93, Trust and Toast, Rhinestone Pinecones, Watercolor Honey, Abiding Phantom, Transmutation, and Quesadine. Thank you all so much for the subs. We're happy to be here. We're happy to be back. And we're ready to play more Contradiction. How do I mute videos on Twitter? How do I mute Twit vids? I want to know. Isn't it that thing where like if one of them is muted, they're all muted? Yeah, but I don't know how to mute at all. Isn't there like a little thing? Isn't there like a little touchy, little touchy button? Um. Oh my God, I keep messing up. I've forgotten how to stream. I've forgotten everything. I didn't say your name, Claridactyl. I didn't see it. It's not on the list. But thank you very much for for subbing. I can only say the names that show up on this list. Like Recondite one Tekla212, <laughs> Megadiptes412, Soka Noah, and Prof McGonagill. I turned around and Joy had it in her mouth and she was holding it up and then she just started prancing and then she sprinted. She's crazy. She's crazy with I it. I took a video of her playing with it because she's ab- she's going absolutely ballistic. Katie Cat Magic, your name wasn't on the list. I can't control this. I can only read the list. All I can do is read the list. I'm, I'm reading the list over here. Come on. You hear water? Our air conditioner is on. Yeah, you probably hear our AC going. Thank you, Mike Eagle Dick. Jesus Christ, this stream is a disaster. I forgot how to stream. Lorna Corn, your name is very rarely said. I don't know. I don't know why it shows up or why it doesn't. I've got it set to show me. Yeah. All the subs and the gifted subs. Now Olive is involved in this. So I don't know. Oh, it's the game audio. Oh, yeah, it might be the game audio. Uh, oh, also, yeah, sure I know Twitch was having some problems earlier today with yeah. like, Jesus, God, ah! I headbutted the chair. Olive's in attack mode. She's creeping really low to the ground because Joy's playing. Um, okay. Oh, the only other thing I was going to say. Uh, about the Seattle live shows, which all were wonderful, Mm -hmm. uh, by the way. And everyone that met us was very wonderful, too. Mm -hmm. But that was another fashion inspiration for me. Oh, my God, the fashions. So many of our fans had such incredible fashions on absolute point. And I was like, I have to do better. I started complimenting people's fashions. So I was only complimenting people's fashions when I meant it, right? But I said it so many times that it started to feel insincere. But every time I said, I love your outfit, 
It's because I wanted to wear it. Oh yeah, exactly. Oh my God. It was wild. Everyone was so good. Joy, are you okay, sweetie? And so many good tattoos. That's also true. Yes. The teeth necklace might be cursing the stream. It's possible. Also, the person who um, I complimented, they had um, they were wearing like shorter shorts on so I could see their thigh tattoos. And I was like, damn, that's cool because they were like matching. And they linked me uh, the artist on the uh, Drawfee Discord. And I saw it and it's awesome. So thank you for doing that. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. What do you say we play this video game? Let's do it. Here's Joy. Oh, look at this cat. Look at this cat. Look at this cat. Oh, stretch the head. Stretch the little head out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. She's so good. Unbelievable. Boop. Okay. Okay. Resume current game. Resume. I'm ready. 10 p.m. as you can tell by how dark it is. This is 10 p.m. right here. It's 10 p.m. Ding dong. Um, when we last left off, I don't really remember. <laughs> I don't really remember what we had. Alice's, Alice's? Atlas's aptitude test. Oh, we met Lisa. Yeah. We thought that Atlas were devil worshippers, but then yeah. everyone else was like, Lisa's crazy. Yeah. So we don't really know so more about that. So she's definitely correct. Yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna, hint. yeah, I'm gonna do a hint just to figure out kind of where we're at right now. Um, but just as a reminder, there was a, the whole point or reason why we're here in this town is because a dang old girl got murdered. Dang old girl got murdered. And we're trying to figure it out. And then that boy died. And that boy ago. also died. Who's discording? It's not important to this. Every time I get a message during a stream, I'm like, "Is it one what's of the going mods? wrong? Is it something that I've done? Is my fly down? All right, let's take a hint. Wonder who's in the pub. Is someone gonna finally be in the pub restaurant? Oh my God. I really don't think it's my place, darling. It is your place, yeah. Is that a sack of weed? Tell him about Simon. You know what happens when you don't do as I say. Oh my god. Oh my Whoa. god. Ah. So it's going to be that kind of evening, is it? You should play the cards, right? Oh, they they nasty. Problems. <laughs> they nasty in public. Oh, like <laughs> See you later. You do you save that for home. She's the one who's wearing the boots with the fur. She's the one the whole club was looking at? Yes, probably because she's the bartender. <laughs> going to the restaurant, let's go. <gasps> Magnifying glass. What's going on here? Prescriptions. That's Cadbury malt. That's Oromorph liquid. Well, isn't that interesting? The hell is Oromorph? I don't know what that is. Wow, I love rough cut white cubes. <laughs> It was a box of rough cut white cubes. Will this tell me what it is? That's often oh, it's how my cooking is described. For, I guess I have to ask Rebecca. Rebecca, I'm here to ask you about your Oromorph liquid. Ask about the white cubes. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Hey. What's, what's this? Tell me about your medicine. The cupboard downstairs, there's a lot of unopened stuff in it. Is there? Prescriptions. Made out to you. Oh, they're just spare painkillers. The chemist always gives us too many, he's a friend of the family. <laughs> what the fuck? That's not what a friend of the family should do. Y'all, we gotta investigate the friend of the family. A friend of the family should not give you bonus painkillers. Is the friend of the family the dude who never looks at us and instead looks directly into fire when we ask him questions? The Thank dude you. who was like, be back later. I don't know what that is. And it was like weed or whatever. Um, I guess I should ask more people about her pills. Maybe Emma would know. Emma and Rebecca are friends, right? No, Emma's cheating. Emma cheated on Re with Rebecca's husband. Well, then maybe Emma would know. <laughs> Come she here. said she doesn't use drugs. She did say that, didn't she? Contradiction. Is there a contradiction about that? Like, it, did here. it did it count as a clue? Come here. Let's see. 
good girl. A uh, few more questions, if you don't questions. mind. Questions. Questions. Contradiction. All right, where did Cupboard she say Cupboard contains it? Rebecca's prescription of... Oh. I'm trying to find the other one to see if it's even worth doing. I think it was like with the argument or Liam's death. No, wasn't death. it with the um the salvia? The packet of dried leaves. Doesn't, Doesn't take, take drugs. any drugs or medicines. You have contradicted yourself this Objection. day. Objection. Objection. Uh -huh. Contradiction. So, you don't take any medicines except for prescription painkillers. Well, they're not actually for me. They're Ryan's. Um, for some reason, the chemist always makes them out to my name. For some reason. He's a, an old gentleman. Does Ryan need prescription painkillers? Yes, he's got arthritis. Really? He's young to suffer from that, And isn't I he? slap him a lot. He doesn't have it badly, <laughs> but he does need medication from time to time. What medicine is it? I can tell you, to be honest. Ryan will know. Ryan. You can have. Ryan's the one using the prescriptions. What is it called? I think I might have a word with him. Work oh, out exactly early onset what this arthritis. Medicine is. I think Ryan needs to be checked for many things. If he has early oh, onset arthritis, Thank you. he is clumsy, he's tone deaf, can't drive or whatever, can't run a business. Can't do nothing. I'm just going to come down here real quick and see if anything's down here. Nope. Nope. Still nothing. All right, take take me up here. We got to do a little looky loo. He cheats. Yeah, cheats on his wife. That's the only one that's like a legit problem. Oh, and the cult like business. Yeah, running a cult. <laughs> running a cult poorly. Anyone down here? Where's that weird drinking guy? We haven't seen him again. Was it the weird drinking guy, um, the dude with, in the cottage who grows the plants? No, there was a different weird drinking guy. I thought that was him. Okay. No, it was a different guy. Did you do it? Did it's, you do it? It's 10 p.m., go home. What are you doing? Different guy. Anyone in the clearing? No. No. All right, Ryan, tell me about your drugs. You little drug bug. He's taking painkillers and he's drinking scotch? All day? He's living the damn dream. What the hell? Man's trying to destroy his organs slowly and painfully. Couple more questions, if that's okay. All right, tell me about the prescripos. Do you know what the medicine in the cupboard at the pub is for? You'd better ask Rebecca about that. I'm not exactly sure what's in there. She tends to keep her wares under lock and key. Do you know, our wedding night was quite a surprise. <laughs> Did it involve what does the that white mean? cubes? Or why, the Cadbury why, vault? Why was it a surprise? What was she hiding in her pants? Painkillers? <laughs> what? <laughs> she unbuttons her shirt, opens it, bottles fall Just out. Just a bunch of loose pills. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tell me about your arthritis. Tell me about your arthritis. Oh, you found out about that. <laughs> well, yes, I'm old before my time. <laughs> it's very unlucky to have it so young. Well, I take a lot from life, Inspector, and sometimes life likes to give you a little bit back. I mean, it's not too bad, it's not too debilitating, it's mainly uh, some in my right hand, some in my left hand. It's not particularly a problem, uh, makes it difficult to hold small things, though. What do you take for then it? Then he can't hold what's I, in his uh, pants. Hey! hey! I'm no, sorry. Often, as and when, as and I when, just... I keep some here, I keep some <laughs> It felt home. like a joke that would <laughs> have been made in this game. I mean, I think you nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> I think you freaking got him. I think you destroyed him. Yeah. Not proud of it. Ar arthritis in his hands. There's, there might be something about this, because does, doesn't he like do things with his hands? <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, killers. His guitar collection, he dabbles in playing the guitar. 
Yeah, that could be it. Also, no drugs at Atlas. I mean, I guess, you know, prescriptions are different. No, that's not it. Keeps painkillers at work at home. You might be onto something there. Okay. If we Let's go try there that. and then where's the drugs at Atlas thing? Um I don't remember. Salvia drug? Doesn't allow no, drugs or alcohol. Doesn't allow okay, yeah. What about that? No. Doesn't keep any medicines on site. Okay. Specifically medicines. Okay. 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 We got you. Bam. Bam. So you don't keep any medicines on site at Atlas. No. Except your prescription painkillers. Well, these are not available to the students. But they are kept on site. Yes, but they're locked away. They're kept in the storeroom. Nobody would have access. You're sure no. about that? Absolutely sure. And what are the painkillers, Ryan? <laughs> painkillers. Uh, just painkillers. Normal painkillers. <laughs> Paracetamol. <laughs> codeine. Morphine. Well, all right, they're morphine tablets, yes. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, come on, Inspector. I know what you're thinking, but there's no way Kate could have had access to them. Because they're in the storeroom. Well, not just that. She wouldn't have even known about them or where they were. Sure about that? Yes. So it is morphine Ryan's taking. The pieces are starting to come together. Now I just have to work out how Kate got hold of it. If it was Ryan's morphine she got hold of, of course. Julia's over here slapping. She's slapping the chair. She's slapping me. Got a real Rebecca on her hands over here. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I just, uh, Kate had the, the morphine. And then the morphine here. And then she last seen at Atlas, you know. So is there something takes morphine, keeps morphine in a secure storeroom. Is there anything about drugs? Well, they, they like addressed it with her. So maybe we have to go ask some like other people about it. Drugs? 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 I don't know how severe his mor his morphine his arthritis is when he says that it's not that bad, but he does take morphine for, for it? A thing that soldiers would take when they got shot multiple times? Yeah, morphine for arthritis that isn't too bad is like pretty crazy. What the hell? Yeah, can we like say this and this? Can you tell, can you explain more about this? Am I wrong about this? <laughs> I was a little sleepy, so I brewed a nice, strong cup of meth. <laughs> <laughs> so, the drugs aren't prescribed to him. He takes them for light arthritis, and it's morphine. Who is this doctor? <laughs> yes! And I feel like we should go ask some other people, maybe, about the, the drugs. Right? Yeah. Be back later on, if that's okay. Because we got to find... Someone in the chat has lupus and gets prescribed Tylenol. This is what I'm talking about. Just give everyone morphine. Just everyone everyone take some morphine. Whoa. Oh. He's got to poop. Oh. It's him. Just dropping <gasps> all your shit everywhere, Simon. How did you not hear that, Simon? Didn't hear the little clank a lank This dude is careless. Hey, careless, Simon. Probably nothing. Careless. Important, but at this stage, I need all the clues I can get. They're Morbin tablets. This actor, actor, act. What's a gender neutral for actor? Is it actor? Actor. This actor, they have beautiful cheekbones and beautiful hair. Every time I see it, I'm like, damn. Ooh. Dropped key ring. What is this? Doesn't look like a key. Oh, it's like a key chain? Yeah. St. Bernard de Menthon. Meth. Meth. Menth. 
Ment Menthol. <laughs> Cigarettes. <laughs> Dropped so. a business card. Dean Hayfield, managing director, Aztec. Huh. Simon, tell me about Four this. Questions, please. Thank you. Tell me about Ryan's arthritis. Did you know about Ryan's arthritis? Ryan? He's got arthritis? Apparently. No, I didn't know. I hadn't noticed he had any problems. Wonder why. I mean, Rebecca is definitely on the prescription meds, right? She thinks she's hooked on morphine? She's hooked on mint. Mint Menthol? <laughs> she loves those menthols. What Can't is this? Enough. I uh, think you dropped this outside. Someone you know. Oh, this is just this is just from some IT guy in there. Uh, I don't need it. How'd you get this out of my wallet? I uh, noticed some numbers on the back. Do you need these? I don't know. What is it? Uh, one nine zero five. Oh yeah, yeah. That's just that's just a, a pen for some storage it's room. I remember it. <laughs> so not an actual <laughs> savings account or anything. <laughs> no, no. It's. Uh, it's not important. That's just a pen for something. You keep it. <laughs> Typically, didn't, that's a number you don't want other people to have. Didn't we see a numpad somewhere? I don't remember seeing a numpad. What about this? Is this yours? Yeah. That's from my keys. Where did you find that? Just outside. Right. Oh, it must have come off when uh, Nathan dropped my keys off. Uh, he was borrowing my car. What? That's very trusting. Yeah, I suppose it is. I, I am a bit Who's too Nathan? trusting, really. It's a new car as well. New car? Wait. Owns a new car, but rides a bike because he doesn't have a car? Let's, let's get him. Finally the bike. Finally the bike. Only way you can get to work? You're dead. You're dead. Objection! You're freaking dead. So the bike's the only way you can get to work, yes? Yeah. What's wrong with the car? No, I can't drive the car yet, can I? I don't have my license. Right. I got a windfall from an insurance payout. Uh, just figured I'd buy something sensible with it straight away instead of wasting the money. What was the insurance payout? Uh, it was for a laptop. It got stolen down at Atlas. At Atlas? Well, they didn't break in. They, I think they just walked in and took it. The laptop was in a storeroom, but I think the lock was broken, to be honest. Just a storeroom. Taking their security very seriously. Storeroom. Well, actually, it got a lot better after that. I think I'll check it anyway. Gonna have to check the storeroom. Very nice laptop Simon. to be able to buy a car with the insurance. You have not or a been sus car this whole time. Talk with Ryan about his security measures. Now you coming in like a wrecking ball? You, you ride in that wrecking, like ball, wrecking ball like Miley Cyrus? Okay, Let's visit Emma while we're here. In my house? I'm gonna go back to Ryan and be like, uh, Simon's stolen laptop? You piece of shit? You're dead. Tell me about- Yeah, how is the laptop worth a car? Ryan's arthritis. Did you know about Ryan Rand's arthritis? Arthritis? I, I didn't think Ryan had arthritis. <laughs> That's okay. how I would answer that question. I don't think he has arts practice. What about this? Have you seen this before? Um, nope. Sorry, never heard of him. Do you and Simon talk? <laughs> Ever? About Ever? anything? You live together. What about You're this? You're dating each other. What do you know about this? This is Simon's. I bought this from him on holiday. Has he lost it? He dropped it. I can't keep anything. Not even his wits. Got him. Got him. What about Simon's stolen laptop? Did you know about Simon's laptop being stolen? Yeah, because it had all my college work on it, which I hadn't backed up or saved. Uh, not that it mattered much, but uh, I did buy a new one. And Simon uses it now, when I let him. So you bought a new laptop? Why didn't he buy a new laptop using the freaking money he got to buy a car with, apparently? Oh yeah, wasn't... Or am I thinking of the other game I'm playing? Weren't they, yeah, weren't they sharing a laptop? It says for them both. Yeah, but didn't she say earlier something about, no, I think that's a different game I'm playing. I think you might be getting your wires. Your wires are crossed. 
You need to get your head in this mystery. I'm sorry. I'm playing a different mystery game on the Switch. A switch story. A switch story. Thank you. Probably be back later. All right, let's go back and talk to Ryan again. I got questions. Questions. One gherkin short of a big MacBook. Very Wh good. What's the Switch game, Julia? People want to know. I'm playing Kathy Rain. Ack. Yep. Ask you a couple more things, please. It's that Highly Kathy. recommend. Maybe we'll play it on stream one day. Dropped business card. Tell me about this. Know anything about this? Uh, no, I don't. I'm sorry. We, we have our own IT chap. Oh, lovely chap, in fact. Uh, fat and sweaty, though. Oh, it's my, what's that? it's <laughs> like a double act, doesn't it? <laughs> what the hell? Where did that come from? No one asked. My dude. Why are you just being a dick for no reason? That IT guy didn't ask for anything, other than to get paid. All right, tell me about this. Have you seen this before? No, sorry. All right. All right, let's get to the meat of it here. It feels on brand that Were he would say that at Atlas of nothing. when Simon's laptop was stolen? Oh, I believe I was, yes. He was taken from the storeroom in the hallway. Was it ever recovered? No, we didn't catch anyone. We're quite exposed out here. Uh, somebody could just wandered along the lane, seen into the storeroom. It's not particularly secure. They could have been in and out within minutes. Uh, that's why we advise with people the to keep their valuables Kate with them. Thing. You can't be too careful these days, Inspector. Yeah, we're going to get him. We're gonna Store get him. Storeroom's not secure, huh? Get his ass. Well, then what about... What about... The secure storeroom you said about? Get his ass. Huh? Huh? So the storeroom isn't particularly secure, yet you keep your morphine tablets in there. I thought you said no one could get access to the morphine, but they could quite easily, couldn't they, Ryan? I didn't mean that storeroom. I meant a different storeroom. We have two storerooms. Okay, so where was it locked up? It's upstairs. It's got a combination lock on oh. it. Nobody could have access to it except me and Dad. Nobody. I might have a look at that if you don't mind. Don't mind at all. <laughs> we have two storerooms. One for the upper class really and one tiny well, one for the peasants. For <laughs> See how secure and combination locked it really is. We got the freaking code to that and we found it on a damn business Thank you. card. Probably be back later. We're about to break into your shit up the stairs, finally unlocked. We're gonna wreck you harder than you tried to wreck the IT guy. But it didn't work. Can I? What? Can we? Can I? Oh, do I need to like use? Oh, uh, maybe? The, this. Flip. That's not the code. The Those numbers, numbers are, are worn, worn off, off differently. Maybe they just changed it. For the sake of not having the actual code of this actual Welcome building in a video game. What, what the, the hell? hell? This exercise is all about identifying the difference between the image one presents to the world and one's real self, which lies deep in our unconscious. As you move through the network of mirrors, practice seeing yourself as a stranger. The more you separate from your persona, the more aware you will become of your true desires and ambitions. What? Chant with us. I am free from my I am free from my image. I am free from my past. I am free from myself. I am free from my image. Who's this woman? I am free from my past. I am free from myself. I am free from my image. I'm already tired of chanting it. I am free from myself. <laughs> this exercise involves the use of liberation masks. You have now completed module one. <laughs> module two. Speed run the course, Jenks. Testing, threshold testing and extreme testing. Extreme testing. Please read the notes carefully before it's I want to do extreme module. testing. I'm extreme. Yo. The hell? I didn't expect when we turned this corner to enter a celestial spear cult. Extreme testing. Well, time to talk to Ryan about that one. Hey, Ryan, what's extreme testing? <laughs> I think we should have just kept listening to the CD. It would have told us. Yeah, that's true. 
Goodbye, mirror room. Tell me about the extreme testing. Does it involve a just skateboard? A few questions, if you don't mind. I just Does want Dakes involve... to sit down on the couch and go like... What? <laughs> <laughs> I am free from myself. <laughs> tell me about the mirror room. Can you tell me what you know about the mirror room upstairs? Oh, you found that then. Hmm. Oh, you saucy mink. Well, it's very similar to the costumes, Inspector. It's designed to help the students look at themselves differently. And what do you do with the mirrors? You look at yourself, Inspector. You look at yourself until you start seeing yourself as, as others do. Yeah, and you don't see yourself as, as you do anymore. It, it really, the idea is that you can see yourself eventually any way you wish. Whoa. So why in a locked room? To make sure you're not distracted, that's all. Wow. How often is it used? Not often, a few times a month. Some students find it useful, some don't. What? Room locked so students aren't distracted. Was it, didn't he say something about safety or something and not locked or? I don't remember. If he did. I don't remember if he said. Go to the auto hypnosis, please. No, okay. Phasing out auto hypnosis? Yeah, is that related to this mirror room? I don't, I wouldn't think so, but we can try. No. Yeah, it was supposed to be a storeroom, but there's not anything. Well, where's the morphine? It's a mirror room. Not a morphine room. It's not a morphine room. Where's the mirror? Where's the morphine? That's not the storeroom because it wasn't a combination lock. Hmm. It's Morbin time. I'm not sure. Maybe we should go talk to some other people. Maybe we'd talk to Simon about the mirror room because he had the, for the, moment. the combo. Thank you. Yeah, let's talk to other people about the mirror room. That's a good idea. Take Is me anyone back. in the in the reading room? It's a good question. Hello? Wasn't there like a Kyle or something? Kyle? Kyle's not yeah, here. Kyle's gone. Hard to say because Ryan's an idiot. <laughs> Alright, back to here. Simon. Um, Ask about Simon. A few things, please. Simon. 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 What's the mirror room? Do you know about the mirror room at Atlas? Yeah. What's it used for? Well, it's mainly for the auto hypnosis module. Hypnosis. Uh, you go in. Auto hypnosis. You stare into the mirror and you go into a trance. Then, when you're ready, you come back out. So you just go in whenever you want to? Oh, no. Um, there's certain times when you're allowed in, and uh, only they know the combinations anyway, so you can't really get in. But you don't know the combination? No. That's a lie. That's a lie! Hold on. I really want, like, I want, like, in Phoenix, right? <laughs> there we go. So Tell me the doing. truth, Simon. Aha. Uh -huh. So you didn't know the combination to the locked mirror room? Nope. Except you'd written it down, hadn't you? Why are you always lying? This is the combination to the mirror room, Simon, that you wrote. It isn't a pin. It's a combination. Yeah. You see, this sort of thing makes me What is me a pin suspicious. if not a combination, though? Damn. What were you doing in there that you didn't want anyone, including me, 
find what out. What were you doing, Simon? It's just part of the course, isn't it? It's just... I just I've wanted just, to go in there when I was It's just admired my cheekbones at all angles. I'm sorry. You didn't give a number to anyone else. Uh, no. Simon, there was morphine kept in that room that might have played a part in Kate Vine's death. Did Kate have the number? Yes, okay. Uh, we both went in. Uh, Together? We were trying to outdo each other. We we both tried to morphine. <laughs> Just a little bit of morphine. Just a bit of morphine. That's it, a prank. Of course. To see how far you can push yourself. To see if you could do something you wouldn't normally do. Like morphine. When was this? A few months ago. How often did you try it? Only that once. I'd never do it again. How about Kate? I don't know. Sorry. 11 p.m. <laughs> so that's how Kate got the morphine. But what exactly does this testing involve? Could this have been what killed Kate? 11 o'clock. Just an hour left to solve this thing. An hour left? We're getting so close. Are we going to finish? So, okay. I'm still stuck on one clue. Okay. It's the very first clue that I ever did think of. The second clue in this list. The tape. <laughs> when does the tape come in? I don't know when the tape comes in, Julia. It comes in sometime. I think I'm Rebecca sure, did it. I'm sure it's gonna come in. Like it's I believe you. It's gonna be you. Rebecca, and it's gonna be as simple as Kate was sleeping with her husband, who she kind of hates anyway. I believe you that the tape will be. I just don't know when it's gonna come in. <laughs> Everyone knows you said the tape at the stream one. Everyone knows, okay? Okay? Let's talk to Rebecca. What happens at midnight? In, in, um, in England, you only have 24 hours to solve a case, and if you don't, you can't, you can't keep investigating. It's a one yeah. day rule. Who's in here? No. Come on. Suspicious. Wait. Go back to the restaurant. There's a man in the corner. Where? Oh, wait. That's literally the other room. Okay. So you want to see what I saw? <laughs> what did you see? Can I? <laughs> so I thought, <laughs> I thought it was a statue of a guy. I thought this was an ear. I thought this was a mouth. And here's like a little beard. <laughs> I thought this is the collar of the shirt. What the hell are you <laughs> talking was about? A menu. What are you talking about? And then I thought he had like a little apron over his waist. Hold on, I'm squinting. You see, and there's like the little oh, five o'clock shadow. I can kind of see it if and I. And then like here's his black pants. <laughs> I can kind of see it if I squint. He's like looking this way. Yeah, he's looking like over here, yeah, like yeah, into this yeah, room. Yeah. I can kind of see it. <laughs> there was a tiger. Oh my god! I had to really like work on it to to put the shapes <laughs> together. A guy. If I look at the little screen down here on Streamlabs, I can see it more easily. I'm like further away and at an angle. If you can't see it, le like lean away from your screen and squint your eyes. And you'll see the man. He's kind of hot. <laughs> <laughs> Julia is the beautiful mind. Is so funny. Oh god. Anyway, sorry. Continue. All right, I'm returning to the bar. Yeah. Rebecca. More questions, if that's okay. Tell me about the tape. I gotta ask about these things first. Have you seen this before? No. All right, that's fair enough. What about this? Do you know anything about this? No, sorry. All right, I didn't expect you to. Fair. I'm just, I'm getting you loosened up, you know, and then you'll start letting out the secrets like, about the mirror room. It's like with the lie detector where they ask you your name. Yeah. Do you know anything about a locked room at Atlas with mirrors in it? Not off the top of my head, no. I think that's a question for Ryan. You just got no idea what goes on in there? 
she doesn't care about her stupid husband who she slaps. Okay, Be bye. Later on, if that's okay. For fun or not, I can't tell. Oh, it, it seemed like it was for fun. Did she mean it for fun, though? Whether or not she meant it for fun, he still got fully horned. Yeah. So, it, you know, it's. I think it's irrelevant at this point. We got to check down here. Hello? No. It's so blue. Should we go? I think we have to go talk to Ryan, right? We got more things to bring up with him. Atrium. Lounge door. A few more questions, please. Questions. Well, because Simon said the thing about how it was used for auto hypnosis, but that yeah, didn't become a clue. Yeah, but that clue. didn't become a clue. Damn it! Is that a thing we can ask? Talk to James. Yeah. Yeah, we can Thank talk you. to. Let's see if Probably we can talk to James. Later. James, who's like, I hate my stupid son. Let's take a peek. Take a pick quick. Take a pick pick quick. <laughs> take a pick quick over here. Just a pick quick. Oh, good time to queek. Just keep pushing. Who's pooping? Just keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. You can push it all the way in, Tom, if you want to. Ah! Excellent, Tom. Excuse me. Would someone care to tell me exactly what's going on here? Don't come any closer. That man needs a doctor. No, he doesn't. <laughs> I don't need a doctor. I'm fine. I think he might Go need a doctor. Away. He might need a doctor. What is this? A test. Of what? What does it look like? You're under it's arrest for being test. a dickhead. A pain threshold test. I thought uh, you were supposed to be good at working things out. Inspector. It's obviously a pain yes. threshold test. And so this would be for Atlas, would it? Kyle. You disappear now. It's not a good idea to talk to a police inspector like that. Do you want me to make you? It's okay, Tom. Mr. Jenks won't be bothering us anymore. Why? Don't make any rush commitments. This is the most easy to push around cop I've ever <laughs> What the heck is going on here? Oh, dropped your keys. They're I'll mine now. Keeping that. You know Jinx will just take well, whatever well. you drop. And never give it you back really to you. You should take more care of your things, Ryan. Is your keys, Kyle? No. <laughs> Why is he such a dick? We kept so his, his dongler. testing, is it? Sticking a skewer through your hand? That's stupid. I could just ask Ryan or Paul directly about this, but I think I'll bide my time. You see what I can do with this key fob. First. You have so many nerves and tendons in your hand. Don't stick a skewer through it, or else you're gonna have hand pain for the rest of your life. Use hands. How are you gonna pass everything. the threshold test, Julia? For Atlas, Dang. are you just not? It did sound like someone was having a baby. Did you do it? Did you do it? It's 11 p.m. and you're still. You've been standing there for like seven hours. That's incredibly suspicious. Uh, take a little, little dipple down here. Could go to the path sand. No. All right. Well, we got the little the key thing. I don't know what it would go to though. Isn't there a, to car find a car on the side street? Down here, or on the other end? On the other end. There's definitely one at the other. Near end. that lady's house. That late game yeah. lady. Late game, game lady. lady. Oh. oh. James. James. He's getting, getting an Amazon Getting delivery. boxes at 11 p.m.? In England, it gets blue instead of dark. <laughs> Let's go down here. Is that your car? No. Okay. 
Is it in front of the pub? There's that other car. Well, I, now we got to go talk to James. Yeah. There's one of these. Where's James? This is James. Yeah. That's the guy that was drinking in the woods, giving James the package. Wow. i ask you a couple more things, please. I want to ask what you just got. I want to ask what you just got. What's this? I've seen this before. No. Don't think so. What about this? Recognize this at all? Yeah, he fixed my laptop. Does he live locally? I think so. Why are you like this? Ryan's arthritis. He might know about the arthritis if he was brewing up salvia. What does salvia have to do with arthritis? Uh, that's it for the oh, time being. Like Thank a... you. Like how people use weed. Are you about to reveal your lack of knowledge of salvia? For chronic pain. I don't think salvia would be good for chronic pain. You don't know. <laughs> I don't think salvia would be the choice <laughs> if for you're... chronic pain. If you're kind of tripping, you don't focus on the pain. <laughs> I don't think that's the right call. Are the boxes in here? Nope. No. What about the other one? Go further up. Go into the large greenhouse. You got any boxes in here? Oh! oh! Clark's! Clark's, nice. I got shoes from them. That's not Clark's. That's not shoes. So James is interested in poppy pods, is he? I think he's got some explaining to do. You trying to make opium, dude? Homeboy loves a bagel. <laughs> I just um, want to say, someone in chat earlier said that low doses of salvia are used as relaxants. I don't think. I don't think that's a common use case for salvia. Doesn't salvia make you trip incredibly hard for an incredibly short period of time? I wouldn't know. If you don't I only know it as a pain reliever. <laughs> salvia is good for forgetting your pain because you think you're a watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your poppy pods. What can you tell me about several boxes of dried poppy pods in the greenhouse back there? Feel free to take some if you want. What are they for, James? Decoration, why? <laughs> Decoration. It's a big market for them among the over 70s. So what are you doing with them? Maracas. Selling them to grannies. Okay, James, let's just cut to the chase. Are you extracting opium from them? Me? I can honestly say I've never done anything like that, Inspector. Sure about that. Scout's honor. And who was the guy delivering them? A friend. Someone gave them to him. He asked me if I wanted them. I said I'd have a look and see if I liked them. <laughs> you just see if thought I liked you'd them. have a look. <laughs> no particular reason. <clears throat> I'm a plant scientist. That's what I do. Have you ever sold them to anyone else? I only got them a few minutes ago. In the past. You know Kate's body had opium in the blood when it was found? No, no, I didn't. Hey, hey, that's nothing to do with me. Let's hope not. We're gonna arrest everyone in this damn town. Whole town's going to jail. This town does my favorite... So I watch so many, as we all know, I watch so many mystery shows and crime shows, and my favorite trope amongst all of the ones that take place in America are always like, we're in a, a small town, we don't have any of that big city crime here except for the whole part of the town that does too many drugs and kills each other <laughs> that's what this game has done there's but like there's no crime in the here town. it's quiet it's nice and it's just like everyone's on on morphine or opium Thank and you. tripping Probably balls from later. salvia Jinx is just gonna like wall off this town like escape from New York and make it into like a prison town. This is very boring. Very boring little English town. 
Uh, let's go. We already had the thing. Who's that? Who are you? I think those are flowers. Oh, we had the fob that opened this garage. A few more questions. I didn't want to go inside, but I will now ask about these things so we can go, no. Mm. Why would I? She just always dead face mm. just goes, no. No. Sorry. Tell me about Ryan's arthritis. When did Ryan begin to suffer from arthritis? Ryan doesn't suffer from arthritis. Really? The only thing that Ryan suffers from is a pathetic inability to deal with any kind of discomfort. Savage. He pulled his back sometime last year. Since then, he's going around telling everybody he suffers from arthritis. I thought he had medication for it. Oh, he only has medication because his GP, who is almost as dysfunctional as he is, Damn. keeps prescribing it for him. <laughs> this dude's just blowing so out his kid. believe he really has arthritis. Not at all. I said damn in the same way that, um, what are those, what are they called? The big gray, are they called womps? Mario? Damn. 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 Like the thwomps? Yeah. When they fall? Damn. Damn. Damn! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> I, this man hates his Do you son. know who this is? Uh, Dean Hayfield, Aztec. Sorry, never heard of him. We have um, some prisoner sort who does RIT. Large guy. No manners. Alright. Everyone's got something to say about the IT guy's body. That's what I I've know. noticed. Poor Everyone's IT guy. got a damn comment about the IT guy. He's the only one that's not been involved in this whole damn thing. Well, he may have been delivering poppy pods to James. Of all the crimes that have been done in this game, listen, uh, it's fine. Seen this before anywhere? No. No. I, I gotta say again, love this actor. Oh, he's so good. He's so good. And what do you know about Simon's laptop being stolen from Atlas? Oh, no, I wasn't happy about it. What did you do about it? Ryan paid a con man to install a complicated CCTV system at twice the price that it would probably have cost. Seemed to do the trick, though. We haven't had a theft since. Unless the person who was Steven was Kate. CCTV, if we get access to that, we can review the tapes, see if she went in there. You get me? Yeah. You know what I'm saying right now? Can you tell me about the room with the mirrors at Atlas? The one with the combination lock. How did you get in there? I was given the code for the combination. By Ryan? Well, nobody else is uh, allowed to know the code. Damn. I'm Throwing not in theory. So how the, the sun under the bus here? <laughs> it's a meditation room where the students can reflect on themselves, literally. And what about the CD? Well, that helps too. It's part of the program. So you send the students into the room, they put the CD on, they stare into the mirrors. And how long does this last for? Until the CD finishes or they fall asleep. What else would you like to know? The mirror room sounds like a... a a level of personal hell for me. Not the deepest level, but a but level. But one of them. But one of them. What do you know about poppy pods? You're old. Do you like them as decoration? <laughs> what do you know about poppy pods? Poppy pods? Ever come across anyone selling them, using them? No. So not I only the use them as decoration. I like them. I like to shake them and they I, help me fall asleep. I <laughs> give them a little rattle. And I go, ooh, gaga. Ooh, gaga, oh, off to bed Thank with you. me. Jinx. All right, what I want to do is go behind, because there's a car back here. Mm. And we have Random. not, we have not fobbed this car. Let's go. <whistles> Aha! I bet this is Simon's new car he's lending to everyone. Damn, Simon. Let's just drive away with it. We found it. <laughs> I 
Five hundred dollars. Bingo. Kate Vine. Oh, Ryan, what have you been up to? Be very interesting to see how he explains this one. February second to Kate Vine. Why did it look like the line for like who you were paying said poo on it? Why did it seem like Jenks has never closed a car door before? Did it say poo on it? <laughs> Can I see the, the check again? <laughs> Somebody go back and see if it says poo on it. Anyways. Ryan, we have more questions for you. Bibbidi bib. It looked like it said poo like P O U. Like a French poo. <laughs> poo. <laughs> poo. 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 Uh, should we do Abric? Oh, yeah, we probably should. Before we blow this case wide open. Yeah, let's do an ad break. All right, we're going to run three minutos of ads, and then we'll be back to continue the case. Parkview, if you rearrange right those letters, it says Kate Vine. Right now. <laughs> Suspicious? I think so. Oh, is it like pounds? Is P-O-U short for pounds? Pounds. Poons. Poons. How many poons? Can see kitty during ads? Well, this is an ear of a cat. Boop. Right there. She's really asleep. She has a bunch of fur stuck. I'll see if I can get the camera on her a bit while we're waiting. There it is. Look at that. I have to cover the butt. I have to cover the Look butt. Look at you! Look at you! She's coming down. She's yelling timber. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> the ominous music over the video of the cats is very funny to me. Yeah, it's very good. Meow 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 Jacob's earrings are my earrings. Yes. The necklace is Jacob's. The necklace is mine. It was made by a fan. I shouted them out earlier, but here you go. I'll show you again. Here's their card. Harrison and Stars, Harry Stone. Go check, go check them out if you're interested in some some necklace. They also made a Gabago necklace. Yes. Was that for Karina? Or yes. Was that yours? Because Gabago you, was Karina. You got one too, right? I did. It was uh, Eugene inspired. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then the Julia's earrings that I'm wearing came from Regal Rose. Regal Rose. Yes. If you're interested in, in these type of earrings. We got a star, we got a moon. And I swear. 
by the moon and the stars in the sky. Hi, Joy. You leaving Jacob with no mouse room again? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. She's a cutie. Thank you for the compliments, everyone, on both of our outfits. My outfit's just uh, an Ava shirt and black jeans. I feel like the choker... Really ties it together. The yeah. choker elevates the outfit into a look. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a good point. It's a good point. Oh! Oh, hi! Oh, it's Olive! Come here! Will she jump up? Come here! Up, up! She's thinking about it. She is. She's rubbing her face. Every time I look at her, she starts rubbing her face. She's thinking about it. You're so sweet. The other thing that uh, Olive's been obsessed with recently is that the person who made Felix wrapped it in tissue paper. This Felix? Yes. Wrapped it in tissue paper, and uh, it's been her new her new bed. She's been obsessed. Now both cats are present. This is a rarity. That's true, yeah. Both cats. The sisters are together. Oh my goodness. The sisters are here. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> that always makes me laugh. <laughs> Just because her face is always like. <laughs> she hates it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Go back this way. Go back like this. Are we going to finish the game this stream? It seems more likely than you think. Wow. Hi, Joy. Let's get back to it. Hi. To the atrium. To the atrium. Oh, I also meant to say, well, before I forget. Yes. Um, to Kaz specifically. Yes. Firstly, I saw the, the clip of you making the thumbnail, Kaz, on your stream, where you had me doing the little dance. And it was, oh, yes. it was very cute and it made me laugh. And secondarily, I don't even know if I knew that you streamed. Yes. But this, now that I do know, this is the shout out for Kaz's stream. Yes. If you, uh, if you ever want to watch Kaz's stream. If you don't know who Kaz is, Kaz takes care of the, the YouTube channel, the Secret Sleepover Society YouTube. Yeah, Kaz handles all the uploads and the thumbnails yes. and managing the channel. They do a wonderful job. Uh, Kaz to Raw 315 in the chat. So uh, go check out Kaz's stream. Go follow Kaz on on Twitch so you can catch a stream next time they're streaming. Yes, and the other thing that I wanted to say, yes, yes, the other thing that I wanted to say, this Friday, Jacob is teaching a draw class. That's right. About tips and tricks on how to do a good YouTube channel. Yeah, I'm gonna be revealing the insider secrets and all you have to do is pay $500 to learn all of my insider secrets. And then a subscription fee to get the actual tips. Yeah, to get the real secrets, the, the, the real double secrets. insider secrets. No, it's just gonna be for people who are at the learner tier on Patreon can watch the stream live and then uh, uh, they can also watch the VOD immediately following its release. And mm -hmm. then a month later it will go live for everyone to watch. Yes. Um, but I'm probably going to ask on Twitter for some questions mm -hmm. for pe from people because um, I'll have a presentation and then I want to answer people's questions. Um, so <laughs> how much to enter the mirror room? That'll be next <laughs> month's draw class. Yeah, hey, you have to listen to the whole CD. Aren't y'all in Seattle? We came back yesterday. Yeah, we yeah. came back yesterday. Tip number one for the draw class is going to be to dye your hair. <laughs> you have to. It has to be blue. It has to be blue. Um, Heartbreed Doodles said I would if I wasn't broke, LOL. Um, but that's, it's fine because that's why we release all of it for free uh, a month after the fact. So a, a month from Friday, you'll be able to watch it on the Drawfee Extra channel for free. I'm gonna tweet that. This is what happens to Jacob when he is at his computer for too long. Yeah, Joy's paw is touching my hand right now. I see y'all saw the Drew Gooden video. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I did watch the Drew Gooden video. It was very funny. And I can't believe that Drew Gooden <laughs> dyed his hair blue. Unbelievable. Honestly, I didn't think it looked bad, though. Yeah. 
Um, okay, let's talk to Ryan. Couple more questions, if that's okay. Are we gonna get an NYC live show soon? Uh, it's likely that the next live show we do will be yes. an NYC show. But no concrete plans yet, but just just so you know, so people know, the next one we do will probably be in the city. Yeah. Okay. What you know about poppy pods? Know anything about poppy pods? Come across anyone selling them or anything? Poppy pods? <laughs> well, don't tell anyone, Inspector, but I hear that you can make opium out of those. Don't be old Why shit. do you ask? Doesn't matter. <laughs> Damn, didn't expect that. <laughs> well, I'm about to blow your whole ass up with this one. Tell me about this shit. Would you like to explain what this is, please, Ryan? 500 pounds intended for Kate. It fell out of your car. At least I assume that's your car on the driveway at Brandon House. I suppose so. So why were you going to give Kate 500 pounds, Ryan? It was just a little incentive, that's all. Just a little incentive. <laughs> Not very little, Ryan. 500 pounds. She was a, a very good student. We, we heard that she was leaving. He wanted to give her something. It's the but cheating, it isn't it? Well, obviously not. Are you sure there wasn't any other reason you might want to give her this? Personal reason? No! <laughs> well, I'd like to keep hold of this for a little while, if you don't mind. Well, don't consider it a bribe, will you, Inspector? It's the cheating, isn't it? I think it's the cheating. I think it's the cheating. I think it might be the cheating. Can we combine that with the cheating? No ulterior reason for giving Kate the money. And the cheating. Yeah, that's got to be because we knew Kate was blackmailing. Yes. Not that. Where's the cheating? 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 Did we talk to him about the cheating or did we only talk to Emma about the cheating? Here's another thing I have. If you want to get rid of this. Okay. Okay. Tell me. So can't cancel out this this contract. I can't. Is it this one? Imagine if it was. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Okay. The argument. No. The pub window. The tape. Oh my god. <laughs> the tape. And the driver's license. And the driver's license. Has never seen the license. <laughs> oh my god in auto hypnosis they say they never bribed students let's check that out never coerced not or coerced bribed. or bribed and then 500 check as a little incentive to Q. <laughs> so students aren't coerced or bribed in any way except Kate. I'm not sure what you mean. You said you were going to give Kate the 500 pounds as an incentive. That's coercion, isn't it? I really don't think you could call it coercion, Inspector. It was an incentive. That's all a little incentive. <laughs> so how often I would do love you use incentives? That. Okay, incentive is probably the wrong word. The money was just to see how Kate would respond. It was part of her assessment. Assessment. We have to assess students as they progress. We, d we don't use conventional methods like sitting an exam or anything like that. Uh, people pay for this course per session. We have to know if they're committed or not. So you're assessing their progress and testing their commitment? Yes, we are. We have to. This is a business, not a charity. So Ryan's claiming the money was part of Kate's assessment. And did this assessment also involve threshold testing, I wonder? Or was the money for something else? The money was for something else. We're about to bring it to Emma to find out. We sure are. Let's go. Be back later on if that's okay. Ryan, we're going to annihilate you. We're going to remove you from this earth. He thought his dad was trying to annihilate him? No. No. Jinx. Jinx is here. Emma. I know what the money is for. A few more questions, please. She's sitting in that room in pitch black. <laughs> She's like, I hope Jank stops tapping on the window. Maybe if he thinks I'm gone. Well, first of all, Poppy Pods, to loosen her up. Strange question. 
Have you ever known of anyone selling dried poppy pods? Poppy pods? Um, don't think so. Isn't that opium? Kind of. Everyone thinks okay. opium first. I keep thinking bagels. <laughs> <laughs> I would be like, you might want to try the baker. Well, I'm saying the context clues of the game made me think of opium first. Yeah, but like everyone in this game is like, oh, I see what you're getting at, opium. I'd be like, bagels? Oh, yeah. Everything? Well, Everything maybe they bagel? all also watched Game of Thrones where they're saying milk of the poppy like every other sentence. Oh, damn. Yeah. Tell me about... What do you mean you want about the money? <laughs> That's Rebecca. literally... Hold on. That's literally... Tried to persuade Kate not to blackmail Ryan. She wouldn't put the freaking two and two together that she blackmailed Ryan? She wanted to blackmail Ryan, had an affair with Ryan, persuade him not to blackmail Ryan? Then you come down here, oh, why would she know anything about the check that Ryan was giving Kate? Just coincidentally. Why would she know anything about that? That's crazy. You loosened her up too much. Now she doesn't know nothing. Oh my god. Okay, that's it for now. Okay. Thank you. Let's see if Simon knows anything about it while we're here. You, you, you left their things, house please. and then re entered their <laughs> house. Tell me about the poppy. Odd question, but have you ever seen anyone handling dried poppy pods? Poppy pods? As in, for opium? No. Though, James did have opium tea once. What the hell is that? Where did he get it from? Oh, I don't know. I didn't ask. James does his own thing. What does opium tea taste like? I don't know. I didn't try it. Really? I didn't want to risk it, did I? But I went to hospital once. Uh, I, I had codeine and I went into anaphylactic shock. The doctor said it was um, an opium derivative, apparently, so. But you did morphine? The hell? I'm about to get your ass. Is alerts to opiates. You stupid shit. You stupid idiot. You're dead. Uh -huh. You fucked up so bad you for no reason. You took morphine in the mirror room. That's what you said, isn't it? Yeah. But you're allergic to opiates, Simon. Opium. You didn't take the morphine at all, did you? Well, no, no, I didn't. I gave my share Kate to Kate. Did <laughs> she did double. Kate, Kate each other. double dipped that on the, the morphine. Point, wasn't it? But we weren't trying to outdo each other as such. Go on. We were trying to do each <sighs> other. Trying to do each other. We wanted to test Kate. Uh, to see how far she would go to be prime candidate. Prime candidate? Fuck? Candidate? Prime candidate. It, it means the best. That's how we elect our officials now. Maybe you test her. But you do it in pairs. One person's the tester, it's me. And the other person's the... Victim. Well, it's not like that. It's completely consensual. It's just boundary testing. Ryan wanted me to test Kate. Because they thought she was the best student. Well, maybe. I, I don't know. I just did what I was told, okay? Except you decided to give her morphine. To break the law. Well, I can't change that now, can I? She didn't die of a morphine overdose, did she? She died because she drowned. But she drowned for reasons that aren't clear. This Atlas is how they elect have their this officials. All neatly worked out. <laughs> if Simon's telling the truth, Atlas are lighting the fuse and then retiring to a safe distance, letting students test themselves and push themselves to their limits while avoiding all comeback. Is this what happened to Kate? If this is how they elect their officials, it explains Boris Johnson. Hey! <laughs> Whoa! He, d he did the most morphine, and so they had to let him be <laughs> prime minister. <laughs> like, well, this, this man can really take a lot of morphine. <laughs> prime candidate. I made politics jokes about Thank you. a country Probably I don't live in. <laughs> Risky, but thankfully, Risky, but hey, that dude's a fucking goblin. Easy target. I don't think there's any Boris Johnson fans in the chat tonight. I can't wait. I can't wait to find out. <laughs> yeah, I want to go to Rebecca now. Wasn't there a prime minister of Canada that did crack? Yeah. I love Borjo. <laughs> <laughs> Scarjo's brother. Borjo. 
I hear children in the restaurant. Questions if you don't Is it haunted? I think I think we're on morphine. What you know about the poppy? Salvia, whatever. What do you know about poppy pods? Go on. Ever come across anyone trying to sell them or anything like that? Maybe even in here. Oh, yeah, she's a plant lady, isn't she? <sighs> Not that I remember. She's just thinking about slapping Jenks. Yeah. Like she slapped Ryan. I've never seen anyone <laughs> buying or selling poppy pods. Porto, okay. my favorite Japanese icon. <laughs> oh no. Just like ScarJo. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Y'all, I get it. <laughs> he got, Don't he got there. He Don't got worry, there. I get it. Don't worry. Best not to ask Rebecca about the money. For oh, so you know what the money is for. You're talking to Rebecca. When you're talking to Emma, you're like, oh, why would Emma know anything? Jenks, you. St so we have to get Ryan to admit that it was for bribery. I think that's what's impeding us here. Do you no. know what a prime candidate is? This is my, is? my and tape. Is, and yeah. It's the best student. And what does that mean? It means they get a guaranteed job with a very good salary. Well, that's the idea anyway. But? Mostly they aren't up to it. And what happens then? They get sacked. Failed prime candidates get sacked. And thrown into the lake. Into the river. Hmm. Thank you. Probably be back later. All right, well, I feel like going back to Ryan sacked. makes the most sense right now. I feel like there's something contrary there, but. Quite contrary. We can go back to her if we need to. Okay. I just wanted to hit him with prime candidates. Ask about a few more things, please. Now, tell me what a prime candidate is. You're learning a lot, aren't you, Inspector? <laughs> prime candidates are simply the best students, the ones with the most potential. And what benefits do they get from that? Well, they get the top job. Which is? Well, we have a deal with various multinationals. We Which? train students to be exceptional, truly exceptional. Oh. Truly, truly and exceptional. They get a wonderful top job. Top job. It's very simple. America's deal. next top job. And how do you decide who That's the prime very candidate specific. is? Do you test students? Hello, uh, Did you ever say ask Simon to test Kate, for instance? Oh, you've actually been speaking to Simon, haven't you? I really wouldn't trust anything that Simon Thompson says. You know, he spent says. the best part of two months trying to undermine Kate. No, 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 no. Now, Simon Thompson, it really isn't my place to speculate, but uh, if you're looking for motives, Inspector, uh, he certainly had a few motives. I, uh, more than I. A motive to kill her, do you mean? Now, that's very interesting, Inspector. Well, it's subtle, that's aren't up to you? you to decide. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He really thinks he's like planting. He, th he thinks Sorry. he's like incepting right I now. I loved I, I, this actor so good because he ended that sentence with just. <laughs> he thought for sure he was doing something there. Never asked Simon to test Kate. Students aren't tested. Oh, we know that's not true. We know that's not true. Because they are tested. There's. There's things about tests. Is it the mask? There's things about tests. Hi, Alex. We're gonna find it. We're gonna find it. Is it the it. mask? We're gonna find it. Is it the mask? Psychological test. The aptitude test. Aptitude test. Maybe they mean like tested, like not, not like a literal test. Well, we but... heard in the recording that they do extreme level testing or whatever. The cash? Was it in the cash? No. Incentive? No. We've been talking about them being tested the whole time. Is it not a clue somewhere? Test. Test. Wait, he did. Test. Is he the one who said he didn't know Kate that well or something? Or was uh, it? it was Simon Olive. who said. Olive. That's Joy. Joy! Olive! Okay. Wait, scrying mirror? 
Never mind. Does, do we not have any clues where he says they test the students? Are you kidding me right now? Am I losing it? Said Kate was happy with the course, gave her an incentive to not leave. That's an interesting one. Gave money to test slash assess her. There we go. There we go. Students aren't tested. That's the one. Well, which one is it, Ryan? Do you test Hi, Joy. students or not? Well, Come some here. of them, yes. Including Kate. Yes. <laughs> Why was she being tested? Yes, she was being tested because... Because we wanted to see if she was good enough to become prime candidate, okay? So Kate keep was still, still so answer. much whiskey prime just then. Yes! And did you ask Simon to test her? Yes, I did. But I didn't ask him to do anything stupid. He knew it was against course rules. How far did you ask him to push her? I didn't ask him to push her. I asked him to test her. There's a huge difference! <laughs> Blown out his mic. <laughs> if Simon decided to give her too much caffeine or morphine or whatever, that's his responsibility. So if he did anything wrong, it was his own responsibility. He did it with his own mind and his own hand. <laughs> he knew that the morphine was we used in the had test. Nothing to do with it. This dude's losing it. What? The level, the mics, the levels couldn't handle it. Right. And still no suspect. Unless you count everyone I've interviewed, it's no surprise that Ryan wants to avoid any suggestion of being responsible for Kate's death. But I wonder if the man protests just a little too much. I think he does protest. It's Rebecca. It's Rebecca. It's, it's Rebecca. All right, who should we speak to first? Rebecca? Sorry, I can't hear anything anymore got really loud it did get really loud i don't know why do you do you should rebecca should we ask rebecca should we talk to rebecca do you want to talk to rebecca should Let's we talk, talk to, to rebecca? rebecca do you want to talk to rebecca yeah i love those old windows they would blow it out make a flat couple more questions if that's okay we can ask about this did you know Kate Vine was a prime candidate? No. <laughs> Alright, see you later. Alright, bye. Who's in the restaurant though? No one. Just our guy Just over our here. Guy. Our boy. Alright, should we should we speak to, to Daddy? Yeah. Daddy father? Oh, Daddy please. Father, tell me about... Oh, we got a lot to ask you about. Now, why do you think Ryan might want to give Kate a check for 500 pounds? I really no idea. <laughs> he Where hates his son. Him? Just outside. You better ask him. You think Ryan was interested romantically in Kate? I know he has a weakness for blondes, but I didn't think it had gone so far. His wife is a brunette. He's offering them. Cash. Wasn't Kate also a brunette? Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> the notorious blonde. <laughs> there she is in all her glory. <laughs> so blonde. So blonde. Is there anything? <laughs> we could say about this <laughs> there's no one blonde except for simon does he know who we're talking about when we talk about kate vine i don't know <laughs> he knows who we're talking about we've never met anyone blonde other than simon interested in blondes hold up hold up he's interested in blondes but the only blonde in town is simon is simon but we don't have I don't have anything to contradict with this. <laughs> it's so like, stupid. Can I just show him the picture? I gotta sneeze. The one girl who thought <laughs> she was possessed was blonde? 
I don't think she was blonde either. <laughs> All right, let's ask about this. What are prime candidates? The best of the bunch, the peaches. Don't and say so peaches. What does it mean to be a prime <laughs> candidate? Success. We have a special relationship with many major international companies. We provide them with our best. No skills. company names, huh? And they get an instant job. And what do you get out of it? Well, it's a little kickback. It's just business, Inspector. I'd love juicy peaches. They're the peaches. Peaches. He blinked so much when he said peaches. Peaches. Was Kate a prime candidate? Well, as Ryan has probably already told you, yes, she was. Did you ask Simon to test her? Yes, it's company policy. Leaders don't get involved. Mm, and it covers your back, of course. Well, nobody knows the students better than they do, Inspector. It's oh. much better to let them what? just work it out among themselves. Why are you it going? Isn't very Why are you going? To force students to test each other Come to here. the point where one of them gets killed, Paul. We don't force students to do anything that they don't want to do, Inspector. So you don't force them into being tested? No, we don't encourage anybody to hurt or offend anybody else here. You don't use threshold testing, for instance? No. If Simon Thompson went too far with Kate, that's his responsibility, not ours. He's the one you should be speaking to, if truth be told. I don't trust him myself. They're trying to throw Simon under the bus. They sure are. Okay, I know you use threshold testing. Yeah, you wasn't that... Under the security room or whatever, the mirror room. I'm just gonna go ahead and click this. Yeah, mirror room, I think. CD and mirror room. They talked about the threshold testing ah, on that. Yes. You say you don't endorse <laughs> threshold testing. That's the phrase, isn't it? Yes. Except you do, Paul, because you told me that the students use that CD in the mirror room. I've listened to that CD, and it very clearly mentions threshold testing. You keep batting this away, Paul. We don't really use hypnosis. The students aren't really tested. But I am this close to launching a full-scale investigation. Look, we get a kickback from these students, and they have to be exceptional. Of course we have to test them. That doesn't mean we do anything illegal. What do you think we do? Bump off the ones we don't like? Well, that depends on how far you push them, doesn't it? Well, we certainly don't kill them. Nobody here wanted Kate dead. I'm sure they didn't. But what do you expect, Paul, when you put students under that much pressure? She was a very, very valuable student. She was worth a lot to the business. Really? And how much would that be? Well, if you really want to know, 50 grand. She yeah, was worth you, 50 right? grand? Yes. What, you were selling her? Of course we were selling her. You don't get this, do you? We make perfect employees. Month after month. That's all we do. What do you mean, perfect employees? What big business needs, Inspector, more than anything else, is none of this altruistic, goody-goody crap. What we look for is people with ambition. No ethics. Push. Greed is good. All right? We don't deal with all this comfort Kyle's stuff. Kyle's a prime the candidate. Fittest. That's all there is. There's no higher purpose, no big plan. New camera angle. There's <gasps> nothing at the end of the rainbow. Except what you have and you can enjoy in the here and now. And what do you enjoy now, Paul? You're going to have to excuse me. Inspector, I'm a very busy man. I've got work to do. No ethics. Even work ethic <laughs> is out. I'll see myself out. Lovely man, your father. Shut the gates on your way out. Oh, they're getting, they getting scared. They're getting scared. Leave it open. He's snooping. He's doing his level best to shut this place down. Get rid of him. He's a policeman. We can't just. You saw this, Ryan. Me, me, me. You saw it tonight. 
Oh my God. Kyle. <laughs> Kyle. Why did he say Kyle? Because Kyle has no ethics. Kyle does have no ethics. Kyle crazy. Crazy Kyle, they call him. That doesn't sound good. Two totally morally bankrupt men are plotting to get rid of me. It's midnight. I don't have any backup and I don't even have a mobile phone. This is potentially quite bad. What's can Kyle I, can I call, call the, the chief? Yeah, I have a call the chief. I make my way over to Atlas while Ryan isn't there. Maybe lock myself in. Call the station, bruh. I'm gonna go call the chief real quick. Hey, chief? Hey, chief. I know it's awake? midnight, but... Wake up. Answer your phone. Chief? 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 Chief, I'm scared. Chief, please. All right, well, Chief's not helping. Uh, hey, Chief, just wanted to let you know, I might get murdered tonight. Anyway, I'm going to lock myself in Atlas. Uh, See you later. Peek, take, take a peeky down here? No? Okay. Is there anything we have to talk to them about with Eden Lodge at all? Maybe the Prime stuff? Yeah, like Emma was kind of close-ish with Kate. Worth taking a look-see, huh? Me, 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 me. I'll ask you a couple more things, please. How do you think you'd have reacted if you'd found out that Kate had been chosen to be prime candidate? Is that... was she? I'm just asking how you think you'd react. I don't like know. Like that? I wouldn't react in any way, really. I'm, I'm not bothered. I don't think she was, though. What makes you think that? Well, it's just an impression I got. You know, she's a bit flaky, to be honest. It's just not really prime candidate material. Interesting. Okay. Didn't think she could be prime candidate. But did push her? In the mirror room? Hi. <laughs> well, he was asked to test by Ryan. Yeah. So he that doesn't mean that he said. Yeah. They kept saying she was prime candidate material, but I feel like we can at least try this. Yeah. But I don't think it's a contradiction. No. All right, let's talk to Emma. Be back later on Hi, Joy. if that's okay. You're so sleepy and yet you want to play so bad. You want to play so bad. Tell me about this. Do you know what a prime candidate is at Atlas? Yes, it's um, what every student wants to be. It's the best student. Apparently you get a great high paid job afterwards. I don't think that really happens though. Did you know anyone in the running to be prime candidate? What, like Simon? <laughs> I don't think they picked Simon to be honest. God damn. Well, he's got too many morals, and you can't have both at Atlas. Too many morals. What about this? Do you know whether Kate was in the running to be prime candidate or not? I don't, but I do think she would have been chosen. The crafty bean said, ah, Just Emma, the blonde. Was... <laughs> you didn't discuss it with Kate? No. No, she never talked about Atlas. Mmm. Didn't discuss the Atlas course. D what? Mm. Well, it's true that they mostly talked about the affair. Yeah. Okay, that's from before. Yeah, I guess we don't have anything for that, huh? No. Thank you. All right, let's go to Atlas. Probably be back later. Kate was too drunk to have... <laughs> have ethics apparently don't you hate it when you get so drunk you forget yeah, all ethics, your ethics just leave you done lose God your morals dang my ethics did you do it did you do it it's midnight we can click you it's after midnight and you're still there on the jetty that's suspicious who's raiding who raid who's raiding me Kata raid. Whoa. Who's, who's, where, why does it never tell me who's raiding? Do you have the raiding notifications on? Oh, I got the notifications on. You sure do. But it didn't, it don't, it don't ever know, tell me who's raiding. 
Well, thank you for the raid. Who's raiding? Tell me your name. Reveal yourself. Who are you? Reveal yourself, raiders. Identify yourselves immediately. I'm sure they'll tell me. They're not telling me. Oh my god. <laughs> Awfully suspicious, raiders. To not tell me. Okay, Tareen said, hi, I'm a big fan. Hope you're having a great night. Thank you so much for the raid. <laughs> After we were like, I don't know myself. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, thank you. Draz said they told you. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good point. But if I don't read it, <laughs> then it's awfully suspicious, isn't it? If we're illiterate. <laughs> if I'm stupid. <laughs> anyway, thank you for the raid. I'm gonna go right into the woods. Just go right into the woods. We gotta check. Oh, oh. cutscene. Oh, is that guy still sticking his? Who is this man? That's the IT guy. <laughs> oh, another blonde. <laughs> Prove to me that you're man enough to do this, girl, and then you can deal with that ridiculous police inspector. What the heck? What the hell? Scotland Yard. Not hell. Hello, Ryan. Hello, Inspector. What are you doing here? <laughs> well, um... So, uh, Someone get that knife away from the woman's I, neck! I don't think you'd understand, Inspector. The best She's thing still fighting for her life over here, Jinx! <laughs> Leave us to it. Knife. What? That knife gives me a perfect right to stick my nose in, investigate, and interfere. <laughs> this is all part of the Atlas course. It's a physical endurance exercise. Getting stabbed. How many times can you withstand getting the stabbed? Knife, Kyle. Kyle. Drop it! Is it a real knife? Drop it. So it's jacket he says. He says on. Not looking 100% brilliant. He holds right. it up to her knife, her <laughs> neck. You, I'll show you how to do it. <laughs> to Atlas's affairs enough times to know that imaginative flair is part of the course of success. Our lessons are reinforced by a unique emotional experience. Terror. Who is this woman? It's extremely evocative. Yeah, is she okay? Well, it's a good job you're not in charge of the national curriculum. <laughs> now look, Inspector. I know what you're trying to do. I know what you're thinking. But believe me. Atlas had nothing to do with the deaths of those people. <laughs> they weren't the stabbed, were they? In the woods. That's not what we call circumstantial evidence, Ryan. Simon. Now, I saw Simon walking home with Kate last Friday after the meeting. Now, Simon had some strange idea that he was in the running to become prime candidate. Well, a knob of butter has more chance of becoming prime minister. Oh, wait. So you tell me that... Simon killed her. Well, it seems reasonable. It's likely, isn't it? <laughs> it seems reasonable, right? More likely than you, Ryan. Oh, I wanted to stab <laughs> that girl. I thought he'd cut him. Police brutality. He gave him a slap. Damn. But is he into that too? <laughs> is everyone at Atlas into it? Okay. Ryan's like, damn, I wish that were me. Anyway, bye. I'm gonna go off now. <laughs> what was that? Save someone from being sacrificed, and that's the thanks you get. Just walks that away. That was a cult ceremony. I don't know what is. The rams have been lying all along. But that... What's Simon going to say about Ryan's accusation? That one was like, they didn't pay me. To say any lines. I'm out of here. I'm just gonna walk away. I'm just gonna leave. She's on Salvia. <laughs> Everyone's on Salvia. Damn. I suppose it was too much to hope that Ryan had left the place open. Climb Can't the even fence. go to Atlas. Climb the damn fence. It's up the high, Jenks. All right. Guess we'll go. Did we What's get? It? Okay. The only women with that hair are Emma and Rebecca. No, oh, we got to go talk to Simon because of Ryan's accusation. All right. Well, so check on Emma while we're there. 
We got to hit Ryan with the, did you do it? We sure do. I mean, Simon. Got to hit Simon with the, did you do it? Is that what I said or did I say Ryan? No, I don't know. What did I say? Who am I? I know what you meant. What would you say if I said it's been suggested that you were seen walking home with Kate after Atlas last Friday? What? By who? The same person who suggested that you wanted Kate out of the picture because you found out she was in the running to be prime candidate. What? Who said that? Just a question. I didn't think I was in the running. It was Ryan, wasn't it? I am in no position to say. It was Ryan! <laughs> Simon, calm down. No, I can prove it. Kate's driving license, give it to me. Why? I'm gonna Kate's eat it. driving license, please. The tape? Listen, the tape. The tape? <laughs> See that pattern on the tape there? Ah! Let me show you something. Vindication. <laughs> See this pattern? I could have solved this mystery in the first oh, hour. It's the same pattern. This has come from the same roll of tape as this. So? So there's only one person that's taped like that. Ryan. <laughs> he gave me this piece of tape when I was in his office once. Why has Kate's driving license got a piece of Ryan's Truly is tape completely on? melting. I have no idea, Simon. Where did you find it? Oh, by the lake. Well, it's obvious, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Ryan was testing her. Yeah. Don't hurt he was yourself. Doing a boundary test to see how much she would do, how far she would go to be a prime candidate. But it all went wrong. <laughs> okay. It's one of the things we do at the course. Oh, my sweetie. Right? You give something that's important to you okay. to someone okay. else, then they go and hide it somewhere. It's to teach you to not be bothered when you lose something that's important to you, all right? Kate gives her driving license to Ryan. Ryan goes and hides it somewhere down the lake. Kate finds out, she goes down looking for it, probably drunk, and she falls in. Mm. <sighs> I'm afraid I find that a bit far-fetched, Simon. It <laughs> makes perfect sense if you know anything at all about how Atlas works. But Simon. I'm a more competent investigator Ryan, than Jenks. Kate could have got it from him. He told me he doesn't lend it out. He lent it to you. But I didn't kill her. Do a lab test on the card. His DNA will be all over it. And what if yours is all over it? <laughs> it won't be. I didn't kill her. I'm sorry. Just, just, just give me a minute. I need, I need some painkillers. You need some painkillers. I thought he looked at the camera. You told me you can no not take painkiller. Did he just leave? I think he just left the house. Is he gonna go kill Ryan? <laughs> and in our house, we have generic photos of flowers in the hallway. <laughs> None of me and Emma together. Oh, Joy brought the stylus back. Where did he go in such a hurry? I just... Are you trying to act as suspiciously as possible? I broke this case wide open ten minutes in. But now we got more info. Because you said it's Rebecca, which it still could be. Because that was used to fix the pub window. But apparently it was Ryan's tape. But they're married. They're married, they kill together. <laughs> when you get married, you murder together. No, they share the same tape. They share the same murder. When have you bought tape in this house? You've never once bought when tape. When have you Me? bought tape? All those rolls of duct you tape. You bought tape? The painter's tape? You already had the, the tape. The scotch tape that's in my desk? That's my tape. I bought that I tape. I bought the tape. It's proof wives always buy the tape. I bought the tape. It's the wives tape and then the husband I already uses bought it. all the tape. Husbands never buy tape. I don't even use the tape. You use the tape. <laughs> you bought the tape, you use the tape. It's only fair. I broke this case open so fast. I thought they wanted me to go here because that's where they put me. No, Ryan's at the house, isn't he? Well, yeah, but they, they literally put me right here. Like, I left and they put me here. So it made it seem like they wanted me there for a reason. Did you look through all the side thingies? Yeah. Well, you were screaming about tape. <laughs> I was looking through all the side thingies. We should go see Rebecca. 
First, we should check down here. Damn it. I'm getting pissed. Joy's going absolutely bananas again. If the person who made the mug and Silas cat toys is in the chat, just know that you've made Joy lose her actual mind. She's going crazy back there. A few more questions, if you she don't keeps mind. whipping her head around like this. While the thing's in the air. Now we have to ask Rebecca about the tape. Are you ready? Okay, focus up now. Have you seen patterned tape like this anywhere before? Oh, Ryan's got some. I know, because I borrowed it. When was that? A couple of months ago. Have you still Lie. got it? I don't think so. I haven't seen it since. Lie! Then. We know you used it on the window. The window! To the window, to the wall. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Tape, 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 tape. Oh, tape, 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 tape. Here tape, it comes. Tape. Broken pub window taped over it. Ah, Hit him with that. You last saw that sticky tape two months ago. Is that correct? Yes. So how come you used it last week to tape over the broken window outside? That's the same tape. Well, I must have been mistaken. You see, the reason I'm asking is that it's exactly the same tape that was found attached to Kate's driving license. Who could have noticed such a the thing? Scene. The tape that only Ryan It's has. so minor. Ryan, no one and could of have course, known. You. So what are you saying? Who's got the tape now? Do you know where it is? No. No, I don't know where it is. Why are you asking me about this tape? You seem nervous, Rebecca. Is there a problem? Well, you're practically accusing me of having something to do with that woman's murder, aren't you? I wasn't accusing you of anything, Rebecca. Unless there's something you'd like to tell me. No, I wouldn't like to tell you anything. Okay, well, that's fine. Obviously, uh, we'll be swabbing everyone in the area for DNA, so if anything comes up on Kate's license, DNA traces. What'll come up? Nothing will come up. Right, I've had enough. I've got to get back. Rebecca. Would you like to explain to me exactly what is going on? Which bit? The fact that some leggy bitch was trying to steal my husband? Yo! I think you had better tell me what you know, Rebecca. That leggy blonde. <laughs> okay, you want to know what I know? Kate Vine seduced my husband and was going to blackmail him. Not only did she sleep with him, that whore did it just for his money, our money. How did you work that out? I heard her. I knew it was her arguing with Emma Bowman. Emma was trying to talk her out of it. And how did she come to be at the lake? She dropped that driving license thing when she came in. She, she was drunk, she dropped her bag. I took it out to the woods and stuck it over the lake. And then I waited for her. When she came out, I I told her where it was that someone had just run off into the woods with it. You led her to the lake. She was reaching out over the lake to get it. I didn't do anything, she just fell in. But you let her mm -hmm. drown. It was dark. I, I couldn't see anything. I couldn't help her. Really? Did you try, Rebecca? Well, it was too late. She was just flapping about in the water. It was pathetic. She was making these gurgling sounds. <laughs> and what it was embarrassing. I got a big stick. I just pushed her down with it until she stopped. <laughs> well, she a plastic she bag. Anyway. What did it matter? Do you what ever do you mean, feel what matter? Just, like a plastic Rebecca. bag? She slept with my husband. What the <laughs> hell? Rebecca. What do you mean? You got the wrong girl. Uh, who? Emma. Oh my God. It was Emma. Rebecca Rand, I am arresting you for the murder of Kate Vine. You do not have to say anything, but anything you do say may be taken down and will be used in evidence against you. <laughs> Yes. Did she not know that if you push someone in a lake and then hold them down so, with a stick until they stop moving, that's that murder? Vine's death was a tragic case of mistaken identity. This blonde. But there are some loose threads here. What was Ryan doing with Kyle and that girl in the woods? Well, there's Where loose threads. Hold on. Hold on. He's still and talking. What really happened to Liam last year? 
It seems I've only scratched the surface of Atlas and the Rand business empire. Trying to find out about Paul Rand's past is like peering into dense fog. He gives nothing away and covers his tracks with military efficiency. However, what is known is that Paul Rand has a lot of connections in high places. Politicians, <laughs> celebrities, business leaders. Satan? Perhaps James Wilson's ideas weren't too wide of the You're mark You're right, the top of the corporate all. ladder is I Satan. I get the feeling. There's still a lot more to learn about the Rand business empire. You're gonna have to excuse us. Atlas is closed for the moment, but we'll be open again very soon. Thank you for your interest. What the heck? Oh no, she's drowning again. Oh, I dropped all my clues in the lake. Yay! 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 Thank you. We did it. We solved the moira. Oh my god. Why are you so puffy? Time to play the sequel. There's not a sequel, is there? Is there a sequel? I don't think there's a sequel. It, they seem to leave it open like they could make a sequel, but then they made it Dead of Night. Apparently there's other endings. Was this one of several endings? I mean, we found the murder. We found the murderer. Case closed. What about the other guy who died? I'm not here to investigate that. Who cares? The may maybe we didn't get all the clues. I mean, it it pushed us forward every time we got the the clues. There was no like. Uh, it seemed pretty. What am I trying to say? Linear. It seemed pretty linear. That was great, though. I had such a fun time playing that. Yeah, that this was, was really good. This was an experimental good. independent game made on a tiny budget. If you liked it, please leave a review of the game and make yourself heard. I wish they had gotten funding for a second game because there's so many like loose ends that lead into a second game perfectly. The loose ends are because they ran out of money. Yeah. I bet their plan was to like get enough hype for a second game. Like in this game. Well, I feel like at this point they've got a lot more notoriety because of it dead of night. Yeah. Because that game popped off because every YouTuber played it. Yeah. Every big horror game YouTuber played it. Yeah. But unfortunately, one of the actors has passed away. Well. So it also does say 96% progress. What have we missed? <gasps> What's the percent we did not get? That was really cool. I don't know. The that developer really wants a sequel, but he needs way more money because he had to invest their own money and it was really strenuous. Mm. Yeah, I can see that. That was really good. I really liked that. Yeah, that was so much fun. I, I really do hope they make another one. Yeah. Or I'll just be excited to see whatever they make next. Cause They've yet to make anything we haven't enjoyed. Both, they only made two games and both of them I really like. Yeah. And they're just really cool fmv really cool niche games but that are both really well made and really fun yeah that was really good i recommend uh people you know pick this one up if you want to go through it again or tell friends about it and maybe they can get more more, get monies. more monies give them monies monies yeah excellent game good choice jacob uh thank you I was originally going to play a different game, and then I just happened to find this one and saw it was the same company. And then now look at us. Joyce decided that we're done here. I know it's scary AF. Will there ever be a return to at dead of night? Well, I feel like now I really know the game pretty well. That's true. Because I've watched multiple playthroughs of it. So there's a chance that we could do a, play a full playthrough of it. Yeah. At some point. 
Um, and if you're looking for another mystery game, we're playing Sherlock on Sundays. Sherlock Sundays. Yeah. Woo! Uh, that's in the end of this stream, though. Thanks, everyone, for watching and for coming back after our little trip to Seattle. Yeah. And uh, we will be streaming again here on Sunday. I've got my Patreon bonus stream for Droppy on Friday if you're at the Learner tier. What is it? It's it's going to be how to make a successful YouTube channel. Yeah. I'll give you five concrete steps that if you follow them, you're guaranteed to get a million subs. Guaranteed. No, it's basically a crapshoot, but there are a lot of things you can do to improve your chances if you're interested in making YouTube videos. Yeah, if you're truly in the weeds, Jacob has some cool tips and tricks that have worked for another YouTube channel. Yeah. We so, basically said they do our method and it's really working for them. So that's fun. Um, but yeah, join us there. No, step number one will be blue hair. And then Sunday we'll be playing Sherlock and then Monday we'll be back for a droppy stream. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.